Let's see how we can use CSS to change how styles look. So on our homepage, we have an unordered list uh, in the navigation and an unordered list in the article. And on the other pages, we have an unordered list in the navigation and an ordered list in the article. Now, ordered lists by default have numbers and unordered lists by default have this black circle. Well, we can change that by using the list style type property. And here in W3Schools, it shows us all the different values that work for list style type. There's a bunch of them, right? So if we just play this, this one shows us the ones that are traditionally used for an unordered list. Uh, disk is the default one. That's that little colored in circle. You can do circle, which is an open circle. And you can do square, which is a filled in square, or you can do none. And those we use on unordered lists, although you can actually use any style type on either ordered list or unordered list. Let's look what the other options are. Here, if I play it, decimal is the, are the numbers. That's what the default is when we're using an ordered list. But look at all the different options that there are. And as you just go through these, it will show you, you just click on them and it shows you what they are. Here, if you want a leading zero, but you have lots and lots of different options for setting these, including lowercase letters, lower Greek letters, oops, lower Roman, upper, Ro upper alpha, upper Greek, lots of options. So it's kind of fun to see how, what different options you can have by setting the list style type. Let's go ahead and set it in our style sheet for, uh, let's work on these ordered lists inside the secondary pages. Okay, so we wanna do these ordered lists. So we're gonna go in here under list styles. And we're going to say we wanna deal with the article that has a class set to syllabus. And for any ordered list that is a descendant of that article, we want to set the list style type and we're going to set it to Upper Roman. All right, so if we save that and we go look at how that works, then we get Upper Roman. So instead of the regular numbers, we're getting Roman numbers on all the lists, whether the external list or the nested. Notice how this nesting works. If, let's go look at what that looks like in the, actually in the HTML. So here in the HTML, if we scroll down, till we find this ordered list. What we find is we've got an ordered list and then inside that is another ordered list. And inside that is another ordered list. Notice that each nested list is inside an LI. So here's the most deeply nested one and there's the LI that it's inside and it's an ordered list and it has both the beginning and ending of the ordered list and it's inside an LI, and that's how nesting works. Everything in a list needs to be inside an LI. Here we see the second level. So again, this is inside an LI, and it's an ordered list that starts and ends inside that LI element. So these are truly nested lists. And what we can do is we can actually change how they work. So our, our external one, when we set it on all of them, right, in our style, we said do this to all of the ordered lists in the article syllabus. Well, now we can say, what about the nested ones? So if I copy this and I say, now I want to apply it to an ordered list that is a descendant of an ordered list. So this would be a nested list. And for this one, let's go ahead and put upper alpha. All right, so there's upper alpha. And now we refresh. And here, now anyone that's a nested list, right? A descendant of an ordered list gets that upper alpha. And that gives us our next level. What if we wanna go one more level and say we want that next level to also be different? Let's see how we would do that. So this time, what we need is we need to say an ordered list that is a descendant of 
an ordered list that is a descendant of an ordered list. So we have OL, OL, OL. And we're still qualifying it that they need to be a descendant of this particular article, the one with class set to syllabus. And let's set this one to decimal. And we save that. And now we've created a nested list that has a different list marker for each level. And so we can see the differences with the list marker. Now this is one variety of, net, of having those indented list markers, but know that you can do this with any nested list. And you can choose whatever list markers you want to be for the, the highest level and for the nested levels. And you can pick from all of those varieties of list style type.